Good morning, Greenlight the Day family. Welcome back. This is Kelly, and happy Monday. Um, this is pre-recorded because I am away in Atlantic City on a mini vacay with my husband, hopefully having a grand time. I'm sure that I am. Um, so, I'm going to talk about uh, something that I've been working really hard on this week. And I got to tell you, I'm surprised that it's taking me this long to realize this, but better late than never, which is not taking on other people's issues. And, you know, it's so easy to see things clear when you're not in it. You know, if I have a friend come to me and talk to me, I can easily listen and see things clearer and give sound and good advice, whether they take it or not, it's up to them. But when I'm in it and my emotions are raw and I am pained and hurt and churned and my emotions and I feel like everything is turned upside down, it is hard for me to get back on that even footing to see clearly. And that's kind of what's happened recently, um, you know, with the, the, the deaths that have gone on around us and the wakes and there's just been a lot of emotional churn up and um, I'm, I'm not going to try, I'm going to tr really try not to get into the details because I really think it's not about the details because you can insert your own details. Um, plus, I don't want to go into my personal life, put it out there. So, I'm going to try and speak broadly. Hopefully, you all can relate and understand the process that I've been working on. And I've been working on it every single morning because it has required that much energy every morning. Um, and when it happened, uh, I didn't react, which was progress for me. Um, I sat with it. I woke up the next morning and I said to myself, okay, Kelly, you can regress and lash out and go into some unhealthy behaviors, um, which you already know have it, hasn't worked for you. Or you can recognize that this could just be your ego getting in the way, and this may not even be about you. And when I was able to get some space from it, um, I, I, I think that that may be the case, that it isn't about me, that it is about this other person in my life, um, very close in my life, and that's why it hurts so much and it's so raw, but it's their issue. You know, how many times we talk all the time, uh, and, and I say it, you know, but it's easy when somebody I don't know and that's not close to me comes up and they say something negative about me, that's easy for me not to let it get to me because who are they in my life, you know? And I know that that has nothing to do with me because they don't even know me. How can they be ripping me down? They don't even know me. That has everything to do with what's going on with them. And I'm able to have that perspective. Where I lose that perspective is when it's close to me, with people in my life, with people that are close to me. So I guess what I've been working on this week is when I was hurt, when things transpired, and, and not even necessarily people lashing out at me, um, but whatever had transpired, I was very hurt. And rather than reacting, I took a step back. And I'm starting to realize this is that other person's issue. This is not my issue. That what's ever going on with that person, that's for them to work out. I don't have to be unhappy. I don't have to feel hurt. I don't have to give them that power. Now, I know that I've known this, but... For my head and my heart to speak, I say this all the time, especially when I talk to Janie and a couple of my other friends, 
I can consciously be aware. I know something in my head, but I haven't, my heart hasn't reached there yet. I don't know whether it's the maturity or my life lessons. I just, my heart and my head are not speaking the same language all the time. So what I've been working on is having the two speak the same language and being mature enough. I don't know if that's the correct word that I'm using, but that's all that comes to mind to be able to say, this is not my issue. That's theirs. This is their journey for them to work out. And I don't even know what it is they're having a problem with. But all I know is that I was happy and I was going along just fine until they brought that negativity in. And I'm choosing not to accept it. I don't want it. And as close as they are to me, I can say, you know what? You can sit in that negativity. If you'd like to talk about it and work it out, I'm, I'm here for you, but I don't want to take it on. I want to be happy. I have so many blessings and so many wonderful things and so many wonderful people, and that's where I want to be. Tomorrow is not promised. Um, so it has been, or has taken a lot of energy this week because I let so few people get so close to me and when someone this close to me causes me that much pain, um, sometimes I get angry with myself. Um, so I've had to reevaluate any of that and it's all boiled down to I don't need to take on someone else's issues. All I need to do is focus on what's going on with me. And I am not responsible for anybody else but me. I'm not responsible for how someone reacts, for how someone receives me. I can only keep my intentions pure and honest and loving. And when you're always coming from a place of love, then you know you're doing the right thing. So I'm coming with a clear conscience. And these are the things that I've been working on. And I got to tell you, the universe is definitely speaking um, to me and validating this and giving it back to me. And the positivity keeps coming back to me. So even though I've been working through some painful feelings that I've been trying to get past, I've been validated and had a lot of positivity come back. So I'm just kind of talking out loud and sharing with you all that I've been trying to green light my day and work all day, every day, I would say the last week on this process. Very self-aware and conscious of my feelings, the inner turmoil, and the fact that my head and my heart don't always speak the same language, but I've got to find a way <laughs> to get them to speak the same language because there's so many times that I know things in my head, but it just, just doesn't hit here in my heart yet. And uh, I got to get them to speak more on the same level. So I hope it makes sense. I hope you all have a great week. And uh, go greenlight your day, guys. Bye.